जैसे मैंने बताया स्टोन टिल्टिंग का इशू था जब स्टोन आएगा और स्टोन होंगे और डैमेज होंगे तो कहीं पे उसका रिस्पांस प्रपोर्शनेटली किया जाएगा वहाँ सिर फोड़ने के बयान दिए गए एक अफसर द्वारा वो उसके एथिकल स्टैंडर्ड्स जो एक आई अफसर के होने चाहिए वो उसको मीट नहीं करते और उसके खिलाफ जो कार्रवाई होगी समय अनुसार अब वो जो वीडियो ऑडियो सुनी है उसमें शब्दों का चयन उस अधिकारी का ठीक नहीं है तो इसमें मानने में मुझे कोई गुरेज नहीं है कि शक्ति करना तो उनका काम है लेकिन शब्दों का चयन संभल के करना चाहिए इसमें पंजाब के सरकार के लोगों का हाथ है वरना राज्यवाल जाकर के मुख्यमंत्री को इस प्रकार से लड्डू खिलाते हुए नहीं दिखता एस डी के ऊपर मुकदमा दर्ज होना चाहिए पिछले नौ महीने से हम शांति शांति पुकार रहे हैं शांति की भाषा सरकार नहीं जानती है सात तारीख को सरकार का जो मिनी सेक्रेटरी है उसका घेराव किया जाएगा You're watching News Epicenter with me, Maria Shakil. There is a firestorm in Haryana over the farmer agitation after a crackdown on Kisan by the police. Around 10 were injured on Saturday after police lati charged a group of farmers disrupting traffic movement on a highway while heading towards Karnal. The Haryana police has drawn severe criticism over the crackdown, namely after this video of the SDM. went viral i lost the producer to play that video this one where he can be seen instructing the police telling them sar phod dena in fact the bharatiya kisan union has said a farmer named sushil kajal who was injured in the baton charge passed away hours later due to a heart attack placing the blame on the haryana government but the karnal police has refuted the charges In protest angry farmers held a maha panchayat in Karnal demanding FIRs against those involved in the lati charge they have given ultimatum to September 6th the state government has promised action but a political war has erupted after Haryana chief minister ML Khattar said the SDM's words may have been wrong baaton ka chayan that's what he said shabdon ka chayan may be wrong but law and order has to be enforced He even went ahead and blamed the Punjab government for fomenting tensions in the state accusing Captain Amrinder Singh of inciting the farmers calling the protesters misguided. He highlighted that BKU's Balbir Singh Rajewal one of the farmer leaders against the contentious laws was seen feeding laddus to Amrinder Singh. However There seems to be a divide in the Haryana government with Deputy Chief Minister Dushan Chautala condemning the clashes saying strict action will be taken against erring officers. Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh also stepped in saying Haryana has exposed its anti-farmer agenda adding that if Khattar blocks the farm laws then he will share laddus with him as well. Beyond the political sparring this crackdown on farmers will not solve anything and will only escalate tensions between the protesters and the state while maintaining law and order is important the cops cannot cross the line there must be strict action against officials who gave that instruction of sar phod dena joining me first on the show is haryana's deputy chief minister dushan chautala mr chautala I appreciate your time are you on the same page with your chief minister as mr khattar is clearly defending the sdm's action so what are we to make of your saying that the action will be taken against the sdm we already we have already as per the rules of ias officer sort of written reply from the officer let the reply come in and the further necessary action will be taken okay now the whole issue mr chotala has taken political color with mr khattar of course blaming the chief minister of punjab and captain now saying that it is the bjp not punjab that is responsible for farmers unrest and wrath see it was very very clear by former punjab congress chief mr jakhar that the agitation was supposed to be in punjab but with the help of punjab government they moved it to borders of delhi in haryana and you have seen the situation for 9 months and we have faced the show for 9 months where the situation f- is getting out of hands from the leaders who got the agitation inflow 
Today, if we see, where are the 40 leaders now? It is an archi which we see today, where our deputy speaker's car was fully broken, our MLA's car was broken, one of our MLA's travelling with his daughter was harassed midway and not that political function or government functions have been disrupted in nine months. Can we let these agitators get out of hand? And what happened day before in Karnal was very clear. When a person comes out from the field with the kasi in hand, tries to attack a police officer, will a police officer wait till he dies or will he react to that situation? But Dushin, the question is, if the administration had orders from higher ups to deal with the protester firmly, sir, poor though if necessary, if yes, who gave that order? Maria, the words which have been used by uh, IES who has been in job for three years, I have said on day one, which were not up to his ethical standard as an IES officer, which he takes under the oath. And for that, a reply has been sought and further action will be taken. Okay, Dushan, you have said that Samyukt Kisan Morcha leadership should explain why there were roadblocks in Punjab and Uttar Pradesh after the Lati charge incident. You have also said that 40 le top leaders of SKM are mostly from Punjab and Uttar Pradesh, but Haryana, in fact, is now the epicenter of the farm agitation. Do you see a conspiracy behind what is happening? It's, it's the truth, Maria. For the last nine months, there have not been a single talks, despite the Agriculture Union Minister again and again saying, let them come for talks. Why have they not spoken in the last seven months? It clearly shows their agenda and I think I foresee their agenda as Punjab elections. But if the farmers are protesting for the last few months, I would say, the protest, in fact, they have been sitting at the various borders of Delhi since November 2020, then what really is the way forward? There is only one way forward, Maria, that is talk. Until talks don't start, there won't be an end to this. Let me ask you the last question, and I'm going back to the conduct of the SDM. How is it acceptable for an officer to not follow the manual because the code of conduct clearly talks about how one is supposed to be acting responsibly uh, in those circumstances when the situation is volatile? Is an officer expected to make that kind of language, use that kind of language? It was being made very clear yesterday evening by the Deputy Commissioner Karnal that the language used by the officer was not up to the mark. I have said the same, the Chief Minister had the same thing and I think uh, his once his reply comes, further necessary action will be taken. All right, Dushan Chautala, always a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let me bring in my guest now, Yashwardhan Azad, former IPS officer. Rajiv, God, uh, Rajiv Gudara is a state member of uh, Jai Kisan Andolan, Supriya Shinet is Congress spokesperson. We also have R.P. Singh of the BJP. Mr. Singh, I'm coming to you first. The first reaction of the Haryana chief minister was to defend the police action. Only when there was an outrage did he order an inquiry. But it came also with a lot of appreciation for the SDM. What's making the government forget that cops cannot uh, forget that police action should be so cruel? Maria, if I person charge you with a shovel in his hand and then whoever it is, what would be the reaction of the person whom he is charging with uh, with a shovel? The way it was reacted and I to want to send you the videos. And as for the language of the SDM, yes, uh, uh, appropriate action should be taken under the uh, the constitution, whatever is uh, liable on them. And I'm hopeful the Harana government will do that. He put the GPCM on the channel itself. Just now said that they'll, uh, they have already uh, out of the inquiry. They're waiting for a reply. Soon he gives a reply. Accordingly, action will take. It's not that uh, it's not an anarchy state. It's not like anarchism which has been spread by the uh, Kasan Union that they can do whatever they want to do. And, it's, and, and let me remind you, uh, way back in June, they had an agreement with the state government that they will not disturb the law and order. They will do the uh, peaceful protest. But was that blocking that uh, Karnal uh, bypass was a peaceful protest? No, you can't block the highways. You if you have something to go inside and once you again enter into agreement with the state government and said that we won't do this so you have to accept that uh, agreement and the clause of the agreements no, but i'm going to go back to while we look at that aspect of it and i'm going to talk about the farm laws and the political division in just a bit yashwardhan azad the code of conduct of cops 
in such volatile situation is mentioned clearly. What is expected of them is known. Then how can the SDM get away by being just reprimanded? Well, the SDM is a new IS officer. He's trying to exercise his authority and perhaps impress a few people here and there. Police professionals never use this language. We have handled many, many agitations in the turmoil days of late 70s in Jabalpur, where every other day there would be uh, uh, you know, uh, unlawful assemblies like this. Section 129 of the CRPC authorizes a, a magistrate or, or the station house officer to control unlawful assemblies, and there are clear procedures, but no one gives you the right. In fact, let me tell you one thing. In, 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 in our professional training courses, we always tell them never to use the lati on the head. Never. And the idea is not to hurt them or to kill them. The idea is to disperse. Yes. That is the basic game. And that is why in this case, I think he, he just crossed the lines. And uh, I hope this is a lesson for other people who tackle unlawful assemblies. Yes. Supriya, the charge is, that is coming against the Congress, that you are fueling these protests. And the interest is Punjab elections. No, I'm not going to even answer that, uh, that, that question right now. I'm going to discuss what we are here to discuss, which is the conduct of an IS officer. And with all due respect, you keep calling cops. He's not a cop, firstly. There are two things that I want to put on record because you've got experts on your panel. Whenever a crowd happens, the police manual very clearly states that the use of force is proportional to the situation of controlling the crowd. Sometimes it can be done with a warning, sometimes with a mild lucky charge. Here is an IS officer, the SDM, and there is a re reason why magistracy is different from police force. Yes. And SDM is supposed to be a little removed from the situation because the police, when attacked, can sometimes act in a disproportionate way. The magistrate is supposed to be a little removed from the situation. You have the magistrate actually say, Sir, I have two questions here. He's three years into the job. Who's mentoring him? Who's giving him these directions? Why is he giving directions directly to the police forces? It should come from the top police officials. That's first. And second, is magistracy under, is this magistracy under law or is this militia by the Qatar government? And let me also tell you, those people who are saying we were attacked, all of this happened when there was no attack, when it was absolutely peaceful. The magistrate is heard saying, distinction between magistrate he is an SDM he's an IS officer not a cop per se here and look at his choice of words you may say that it is unethical but there is more to it he is there in a volatile situation what kind of instruction is he getting and what kind of instruction is he passing on well, Mare, do you remember what do you remember Lati Gola remember those words uh, during 26 January uh, before 26 January words were being used and what happened at the Red Fort rampart? How many policemen were thrown from the uh, rampart of the Red Fort in the Nala? You remember that? None of the policemen charged, none of the policemen said anything. But you won't remember what happened with two Arun Narun, Arun Narun, sorry, our MLA from the whole. He was stripped naked, beaten by these people. Can you answer these the question? Is, yeah. Can I come? I never interrupted. Man, just hear me out. He was beaten and he was he was beaten by these crooks. I have to use what this word. Our other person, MLA, was again beaten by these crooks. I mean, you accept that behavior? How long can you accept this behavior? And as, as for Congress go, let me remind my Congress panelist. What did uh, Jakhar said, Sunil Jakhar said, at the swearing in of uh, Mr. Nagar Singh Sidhu? Captain Saab, thank you so much. You have sent all the farmers to Haryana and Punjab, Haryana and Delhi border. You have safeguarded the Punjab. Fake news. Now, Urafi, all of the things. This is on okay. record. Rajiv uh, Gudara, let, let, let me bring record. him so, now because he has not spoken. I'm coming to all of both of you in just a bit. Mr. Mr. Gudara, the fact is that you have had 11 rounds of talks with the government and all those talks have really failed to break this or resolve this standoff, I would say. What really is the way forward if this is the way it will be playing out in the next few months also? 
Mr. Gudara, if you can hear me, we'll try and fix that line with uh, Rajiv. Can yes. Can I please come in? Yes. Can I please yes, come Supriya, in? Go ahead. You know, apart from what this magistrate is doing and the strictest action should be taken against him so that everybody learns a lesson. I want to raise one more important point. Even Dushan Chotala as a guest before we came in and he said it's been nine months. Yes, sir, it has been nine months since these people are protesting at the borders. You have dug up roads. You have dug up national highways. You're not even willing to listen to them. 600 farmers are dead. The last meeting that happened was in January 2021. You have to call for a meeting. The farmers can't call for a meeting with you. Your central government and your state government have turned absolutely hostile. Aap farmers ko gali dete hai. Aap unko but Supriya, the government has hai. invited Aap the farmers for talks karte. multiple times. Since no, January, Maria, multiple times. There. No, Maria, you not are once, wrong there. But I will correct you. No, even no, today. Maria, you are wrong even there. today. No. no, Supriya, I'm not wrong. Even today, you are the wrong agriculture there. minister said. Please come, let's have a talk. Its only Maria, point is second. that they will Maria not be Shakir. they will not be going back on the laws. Maria. There's no question of rollback, but they're ready to talk. They're not Maria, running away from talks. In? No, no, Maria. That is wrong. And I will tell you where you are wrong. The wrong is you are telling a press conference we are ready to talk. Have you sent a single letter to the Farmer Association that come at this time, at this place? We will, these are the people who will be present to talk to you. Have they sent even one letter? This addressing the press and addressing a, the media instead of the farmer, this nonsense has to stop. The reality I will, is, I will, this January I have now, Rajiv Gudara on the show. He will respond to it this. Has not happened. Yes, RP Singh, quick word from you and then I'll go to the Jai Kisan Andolan member. Very, 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 very simple. Uh, the Congress spokesperson is missing on what happened with the Vinit Pittu at 23rd January. He was lucky enough Aap because your channel guy, channel, 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 Shwardhan Azad, please, let, let's, let me have a civil debate, please. Uh, Mr. Azad, the question again is on the conduct of a cop. Uh, no matter what the situation, this was more of a preemptive instruction. Agar aisa hoga to, what is the nature of preemptive instruction that is given by a magistrate? This is not a cop here. You know, there are two points I'd like to make here. If you look uh, at the CRPC, and Section 129 uh, talks about the dispersal of unlawful assemblies. Now, in this case, there were three barriers which are set up. And right in the beginning, he was giving instructions. And I think he, he went too far. And he says, Sir, for though. Basically, there are very clear instructions. And he was saying it also in the end when he was asked that there is a procedure. Uh, first, you have to warn them with loudspeakers. If they, that is, if they don't run away with a loudspeaker. Uh, second is then you have to use the, uh, you know, water cannons and then you have to use the tear gas and then finally is the lati chai. So the focus is not sar phodna, the focus is dispersal. Hmm. Let me tell you the second thing. The second thing is that police professionals will never talk about this because they manage hundreds of processions every day and they are not involved personally in it. So it's a different thing. You see in the, in, in the metropolitan towns, in 64 towns, where the CRPC powers of dispersal of assemblies has been given to the police, it's a unified command. That is what is required now to be extended. Okay, to I the have just one minute left and let me go to Mr. Gudara. He is back with us. There was some technical issue or glitch with his connection. Mr. Gudara, we are seeing those visuals. We are seeing the reaction of various politicians. Uh, of course, his statement is condemnable, but when will the talks take place between the farmers and the government? 
Well, this when will this stalemate end? Uh, yes, can you hear me, sir? Rajiv ji, aap sun sakte hain? Okay, can you hear me? Audio nahi aara na. Okay, there seems to be some problem with that line, and I've and I still have a minute and a half left on the show, and uh, I'll 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 start wrapping it uh, with a few words to you first, Supriya. Okay, uh, uh, he's back. Let me go back to him, Rajiv Gudara. If you can hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, tell me what is the way forward? You have to go back to the talking table. The government has been repeatedly saying, "Come, let's talk." <laughs> what is the way forward to end this impasse? Uh, we should not forget that farmers have already written a letter to the uh, minister and prime minister that they are ready to talk, not only saying that they, they sent a letter. On the other hand, government is saying that they are not talking. The whole thing is we can find out what government is saying and what it is doing. Like in the in yesterday's incident, today's uh, ago incident in Karnal. Now, the deputy chief minister is saying it was a uchit shabdo ka istemal nahi hua. Whereas it was a clear-cut mind of the officer, it was clear-cut directions from the state, and accordingly, as per the direction of the state, SDM is giving direction at one point of time without any exigency, without any reason. On the other place, uh, police is behaving like this and uh, 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 lathi charging the people without any reason. So, the, in the same manner, government is saying one thing, acting in another manner, saying that farmers are not talking. Farmers have written the letter. And Prime Minister has not responded that letter till date. But Rajiv ji, the question is also: the government is saying that there will not be a rollback, but they are ready to discuss issues with the farmers. Are the farmers also ready to go to the talking table with an open mind? Farmers have also said that we want repeal of the laws, but we should not forget when we are talking with the different nations, with the people of the state, and everywhere. Only dialogue is the process. Uh, government should pro start the process of dialogue. Uh, government is not responding. Prime Minister is not responding. Why uh, Prime Minister and the government is so adamant that they are not ready to talk even? And if they feel that they are right, then they uh, they try to persuade. They uh, they should try to talk. In fact, the government and the Prime Minister both are convinced. Okay, I exactly have 20 right seconds for you. I want to know one to point. Topic. I just want to know one point that the charge is that you all are being used by the Congress party, that there is some kind of incitement that is happening and it is linked to the Punjab elections. This is ridiculous. In November 2022, uh, 20, 2020, there was no election in Punjab, number one. Number two, if they are afraid of the Punjab elections, they should take action accordingly. In Punjab also, there were, there were agitations uh, last week regarding the sugar cane price and the government, uh, government uh, accepted those demands. The central government should also do the same thing. If they are they are talking in such a ridiculous manner that uh, Congress okay. is inciting. Okay, is Mr. Kudara, thank you so much. We have really come to the end of this discussion. Yashwardhan Azad, Rajiv Ji, and uh, Supriya and R P Singh, thank you so much for joining us. That's all from me. Thanks so much for watching.